Hello, welcome back to also bought a Peugeot 205 diesel. I haven't made one of these for a little while, so I just want to show you the progress that I've made. As you notice, the carpet is out of my car at the moment, and I'll tell you the reasons for this in a second. But aside from taking the opportunity to give it a quick clean, I've taken the seats out, given them a good clean, uh, hoover them up, um, because we had a lot of water that was coming into the car over the winter, so it's nice and fresh now. Um, yeah, so inside the car I've taken the carpet up and as you can see there's a few niggles here which I need to sort out. See here that um, a previous plate was put in, uh, very well done actually, um, so I don't need to worry about that again but you can see little flex rust that are coming through on that one uh, as is the same with the whole of the floor pan here. So I kind of feel that I'm going to have to sort this out because I can't work out how to stop water coming into the car so the best thing to do is just prevent it eating away at the metal. As you can see there's a hole here which is uh, I think an advisory on the MOT for last year or this year so uh, that's going to need addressing and I've got a guy who's going to start doing the welding process for me in the next couple of weeks on this car um, I thought we'd, it might, we might as well just get it all done right I've got plans for it so let's go ahead and just do it there's a bit that needs doing the rear of the sill here as well he's going to get it up on the ramp uh, that's just a bit of surface rust there where the seals are so I'll grind that down and uh, protect it as you can see one of the seats bolts has come out here which needs re-welding in it's not too clever at all uh, I think the last person who owned it was a bit of a thug pulling the seats out. Got a little hole there, uh, as expected. I think I might have drilled that one, actually. Uh, and I've pushed the drain and bung out on this side, so any water that's inside the car would drain out and not just pull on the carpet. Um, you see above the rear windows here, I'm going to have that uh, welded and done correctly, because it just needs doing, and uh, there's no point in just skin on it. That's that's already been done, that platform. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's, uh, everything's out, so... Doesn't look too terrible. It's a little bit grotty there, isn't it? But uh, yeah, it's not too bad on that driver's side there. It's just a bit of surface for us, so not too terrible. But yeah, we're going to use a bit of the sink primer first uh, just to sort of react with the metal um, and almost sort of like uh, cleaned up nicely. Right, okay, so I've done the first uh, coat of wax all here. Um, I've run out of cans, I only had two. So this is just really a really thin coat that I've done. But, uh, you know, while the, just the driver's seat's in, I've got enough time to do this. So I've got the corners done there and all the integral parts that need doing. And, uh, you know, the seat rails here, because they're notorious for rotting away over time. You've got to be very careful of those. As you see, that, uh, that plate's been now covered. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's looking all right. So, yeah, 